not all phone use is bad, right? I mean, sometimes I really do need to look at YouTube to learn something, and sometimes I really do need to have Spotify running in the background. So how do we differentiate between intentional phone use and distraction? Stick around to learn how to do just that in Opal with Focus Score. With Focus Score, I can see how much time I'm spending on productive apps versus distracting ones. Think of it as a personalized focus tracker. On the homepage, Opal lets you label each app as very productive, neutral, or very distracting, with smaller degrees of intensity in between. These labels directly impact your focus score by categorizing how each app contributes to or detracts from your focus. This way, when I check my focus score at the end of the day, I get an accurate picture of how much of my screen time was actually intentional. On your homepage, as well as your focus score, you can see your most used apps for that day and the amount of times you've picked up your phone. Beneath that, your dashboard shows charts that represent your focus trends throughout the day. Green bars represent focus time, like when I'm editing, while red bars highlight distracted moments, like when I'm scrolling during my lunch break. On the homepage, you can also go back in time to see your focus score for specific days. This is useful to understand how certain days, like weekends for example, differ from days when you're at work. Recently, I noticed a spike in red bars during my daily commute home after work. Turns out those quick social check-ins were actually eating into my downtime. By recognizing this pattern through the focus score chart, I set up ad blocks during my commute to free up my mind and decompress. If you want to learn about how to set up recurring sessions, check out this video. So that's it. Today you learned about focus score and how to more accurately track your digital habits with Opal. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.